Today, I am making a custom bag for my best friend, Jen. She picked this beautiful fabric, and I got some cork fabric to go with it because it matched perfectly. She said she didn't care what the fabric was for the lining. I can pick. I decided to go with this purple batik for some parts because purple's my favorite color. I honestly don't know what hers is. Then I found this for the accent lining pieces. Why did I pick bug fabric, you may ask? Well, it's not just any bug. This bug has a story to it. It matched really well with the fabric she picked, so I had to make her the most elegant bag I could on the outside with a personalized practical joke on the inside. So follow along as I make this bag for her and tell you the story of the practical joke she played on me years ago that still traumatizes me to this day. It was a warm summer day back in 2008. I went to bring my dog Kira in from outside when I noticed a giant alien bug unlike anything I have ever seen before, staring at me from my deck railing. It looked like a frog with wings. I was horrified. I got as close as I dared and I snapped a few blurry pictures with my phone. This was pre-iPhone days so the quality was lacking, but you could still see it. I sent the pictures to my best friend who has a fascination with bugs. I knew she would know what it was. She immediately called me and told me to get inside because the bug is dangerous and asked me if it landed on Kira. I said I didn't know if it landed on Kira because I wasn't outside with her. But it was really close to her because they were both on the deck. She was like, uh, you do not want to be anywhere near that bug. And if it landed on Kira, that's a big problem. I was freaking out. I asked her, what the heck is she talking about? And she said, uh, let me do some research and I'll get back to you. Now I'm really upset. What is going on? Shortly after, I got an email from her that appeared to be copied and pasted from Wikipedia saying that it was an Andean hissing blood gnat an invasive species that, if it lands on you, it will inject its larva inside any warm-blooded mammal it can get close to. And when it's ready to hatch, the larva will burst out of the host and the host will die. I know there really are bugs out there that do this, and I also know we get invasive bugs a lot. I was hysterical now, my poor dog Kira. I wanted to comfort her, but I was also super grossed out. I was crying hysterically, from a safe distance of course. I had a ton of thoughts swirling through my head. How much longer did I have with my dog? I guess I need to call the vet and see if there's anything they can do for her. Will they need to put her down? Oh, by the way, this is me realizing that I sewed the zipper pocket on backwards. I specifically cut this in a way so that when she opened the bag, all the Andean hissing blood gnats would be facing up. And because I'm a perfectionist, I had to rip it off and reattach it. So, joke's on me. Anyway, back to the story. She stared at me as I was crying, and I wondered if she could tell bugs were eating her away from inside. Until my friend called me some time later and said, Dana, I'm f***ing with you. It's a cicada. It took me a while to calm down and believe her, because have you ever seen a cicada shell? Because the bug that I saw was like 10 times bigger than any cicada shell I've ever found. But it was in fact a cicada. So really, when she hung up with me, it was because she was laughing so hard that I believed her. So she didn't ask for this, but she is getting it. And I had it perfectly timed to arrive on April Fool's Day. I even included a picture of Kira that I signed. Love, Kira. That's it. She had no idea this was coming. Plus, this is the year for the Brood 10 Cicadas, so Jen, if you're watching this, keep your dog safe inside. <laughs>